Funny Designer first launches, you'll see the Funny Designer dashboard. If you inadvertently close the dashboard or want to find it again, you can find it under the View menu. Within the dashboard, you can open up recent projects that are available. You can create a new project or you can click Open Project and navigate to that project on your hard drive or any external drives. If you don't see a recent project here, most likely it was created on an external drive or server that's no longer accessible. Simply plug in that drive, click Open Project, and navigate to that project on that drive. Within Fundy Designer, you'll find all of your designs up at the top menu bar. Here we see all of your albums and how to create a new album, your wall galleries and how to create a new wall gallery, your blog collage and how to create a new collage, and any branded images or how to create new branded sessions. To find Design Proofer, You'll be prompted to log into Design Proofer after exporting for Proofer, or if you just need to reach your dashboard, you can do that under the Help menu by choosing Log In to Design Proofer. To access your retouching module, click on this icon or double click on any photo to enter the client slash image view. When you have the single image view selected, you'll see the tab Edit, and this is where you will find your perfectly clear retouching module. This tab might be closed or another tab might be open. In that case, be sure to click on the Edit tab to access the retouching module. In Fundy Designer, there's an image well down at the bottom, which can be open and close just like you would open and close the top well. Within the image browser, you can highlight any photo that's been used. If the photo has been used more than once in the design you have open, you'll see a number two or three. Additionally, by hovering over this, you can see how many times a photo has been used in a different design module or an order. Within Album Builder, the image well also contains your patterns for adding patterns to the background of your designs. You can also filter any photo based on stars, favorites, or any keyword groupings that you use and import from Lightroom and other programs that support keywords. You can sort the photos by date, name, rating, favorite or by story, meaning that they've been tagged as part of the story for your auto design, which we'll cover later in the Album Builder tutorials. You can click on this icon or double click on any photo to bring up the image browser. The image browser has three image views, the film strip view, the grid view, or the compare view. The fourth icon you see over here is to display the current design selected. When you're in the grid view, you'll see two tabs that you can close and open. The first tab is your tagging options to tag as favorites, star ratings, storyboard your album, and then also use keyword groupings. All of the keyword groupings as well as stars, some of the keywords in the storyboarding, including main image, cover photo, panorama, are completely compatible with other programs like Lightroom, Photo Mechanic, and Bridge that support keywording. Additionally, in the grid view, the film strip view, and the split comparison view, you'll find the orders tab. The orders tab can contain albums, galleries, prints, and other items which you can build out your client order, view that order, and print out a PDF. And finally, only in the film strip view, you can see the edit tab, where you can click on any button, and then control the amount of skin softening, eye brightening, etc. in the perfectly clear included skin retouching with pro enhancements. Also within the client view is the quick slideshow module. 
Up at the top left, you'll find the play button. Click the quick slideshow module and you'll find the included music. Additionally, the ability to import your own audio, show file names, choose your background color, display time, and what you would like to display and the order you would like to display that in your slideshow. Finally, in order to set up your studio pricing, under orders, go to product pricing and you'll find a number of options. For individual products, you'll find this view where you can choose your lab and what products you would like to price. We will preload all of the products from your lab and give you the ability to price them accordingly. Additionally, you'll be able to name your collections for all of your wall groupings, your composites for your composite wall art. Additionally, you can add your logo, choose your PDF paper size from letter or A4, choose to display thumbnails on your client order or individual item prices in your client order. Finally, in the logo and legal section, you can add your legalese to display on your pricing PDF indicating whatever legal requirements you require from your client when approving an order. Finally, we have tax and VAT options, currency symbol, your tax and VAT rate, the name of the tax or VAT you would like to display on the client order, and then if you would like to add the tax rate onto the item total or, or display that the tax is included in the retail price. Thank you.